You guys. Hello, everyone. This live isn't going to be everything that I had hoped it was going to be. Get everything set up. Hello, 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 hello. I am so, so sorry. I mean, come on. I have like a million live streams a week and have had no problems. <sighs> I'm so glad that it's up and working, but I am so sorry for the technical difficulties. You guys, how often do I go live a week? And that has never happened where it's just spinning, spinning, spinning. And there is like nothing I could do. And even when I set up a new link, I don't know if you all saw, but I set up probably two or three other links that were not working. So I'm so sorry, you guys. Thank you so much for being patient. Thank you for hopping over to this new link. Thank you, Lori, for helping me out and being like, tell me what to tell the people. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So welcome, you guys. Welcome to our Lori Holt new release party. Today is Wednesday, March 27th, 2024. I am Angela with Happy Little Stitch Shop. And we are here for our Lori Holt new release party to talk about all the fabulous things that Lori has coming this fall. How is everybody doing? I'm not going to take everybody's time and go back and say hello to everybody. But I'm just going to give a big, huge hello to everybody who is here. And thank you for coming. And thank you for your patience. And I'm sorry for the, the technical issues. And welcome to anybody who's new out here. This doesn't typically happen with the technical issues. So hopefully you'll come back and visit us again. Lori says, hello, Angela. Yay. Yay. It finally worked. I'm so sorry, Lori, to keep you waiting. I know you, you're, you're a busy, busy lady. So I apologize. I apologize to all of you. Um, I'm just scrolling through quick to see if I've missed anything super important. Um, hello, hello, hello to everybody. Lori Goodies. Thank you, Martha. You are a sweetheart. <laughs> 7.30 is a perfect time to start. Loving the highlights, Angel. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so I will say that I had... Um, I know, Lori. Lori messaged me today. She said, we're on, uh, you know, like, check in for tonight. And she said, I have my alarm set for 6.30. And I said, oh, good, but it's 6 o'clock. It should be 6 o'clock your time. And she laughed. She goes, okay. I said, does that still work? She said, yeah, that still works. Well, apparently, Lori, you knew something that I didn't know when we uh, were chatting back and forth. Um, I do like the Lori. Okay. So I'm a little bit bummed because I don't have the correct connection. I had pictures all ready to be able to pop out here for you guys of all of the quilts that we got pictures of from the Prairie Home Quilt quilt book. And I'm not going to have access to do that anymore. So, so I'm really sorry about that. I had a ton of pictures to be able to pop up on the screen and share with you so we could see all of the quilts in better detail. Um, but I'm not going to be able to do that with you today. So sorry about that. Marsha, thank you so much. I know I haven't seen you guys this week because it's spring break. So I've been taking a little bit of a um, live stream break. So I've missed you guys. I didn't see you on Monday and I didn't see you today, this afternoon. And I won't see you tomorrow either. So thank you, Marsha. That's really nice of you. Okay, so we have lots of stuff to talk about. I'm going to go through as I usually do when we talk about Lori stuff, just go through each, each thing that's coming, like where we're at with the collection we're at right now, and then what's coming up to the new release and what, what the new release is. So we're going to go quickly through some of the other stuff that we're enjoying right now. Um, hello, Kim. 
So I'm the quilted witch, yay! Okay, so right now, as you guys can tell from right there, we are enjoying Mercantile. This arrived in December from Lori, and right now we're in the middle of the Mercantile Sampler So Long Quilt. Um, Mercantile is gorgeous. I'm not gonna, you guys have all seen the fabric now. Let's just remember how excited we were about this vintage advice when we talked about it the first time. This is fabulous. We have this in the shop. We have the home deck uh, chairs cheetah print. This is the fabulous quilt that we are making right now. And I know so many of you out there jumped into this as your first time applique quilt and you are loving it. All of the feedback that I've heard from people is how much we are enjoying making all of these traditional um, sampler blocks and turning them into circles. And I'm loving I'm loving it. It's so much fun. So Mercantile Sampler, we're enjoying right now. Heritage Table Topper in the shop right now. Penny Candy in the shop right now. Our sample quilt is nearly done. So I'm excited to get that and be able to share with all of you. I shared the Heritage Table Topper with you guys last week on the live. And of course, with Mercantile, we had spring bouquets and we had Millie's dresses and lots of new notions and the Mercantile Quilt Seeds, which we're shipping out every month right now. This month we're shipping number three, which is this one right here, Needle and Thread. I've been shipping that this week, actually. So Mercantile is what we're enjoying right now. Next on the horizon for Lori is autumn. Autumn is coming in April. So it'll be here next month, like sometime next month. Autumn will be here. Seems like it, it was not that long ago that we were just ooing and aahing over autumn. And now the time has already come that it's being released. So again, quick look at the autumn collection, which you will be playing with very soon. And the fabulous wide backs that are coming with this collection. Here is the home deck uh, apples and autumn print. Here is the box kit that will be coming next month. So right now I have reservations for all these things at happylittlestitchop.com. So here's the pumpkins and haystacks, which is for sure on my make list. Remember, it comes in this cute pumpkin box. And it comes with these templates in the box that are used to make those cute pumpkins. Here's the Autumn Skies Runner Kit. It's in the shop for reservation. Here is the Sew Along Quilt called How to Build a Scarecrow. And this Sew Along starts in May, May 20th. We will be making this adorable quilt. So this is in the shop for reservation right now. There will be so simple shapes for that. The Quilted Scarecrow, this sample is almost done too. It's cute, super, super cute. I've been getting progress uh, pics along the way and it's so, so cute. Um, so this one is in the shop right now for reservation as well. We are ready to hit the ground running with uh, cutting these kits for you guys. Crows in the Corn is also part of the Autumn Collection. I've had a few questions about when this one is due. This is part of Autumn, so it'll be coming next month. And of course we have a new binder, cute new mug, scarecrow needle minder, and that bag right there, and the new charms, and some new design boards, <clears throat> and quilt seeds. So autumn quilt seeds, you can reserve that and be part of that block of the month. And then all of the autumn goodies are in the shop to be reserved. What did Lori say? Lori, Angela, show them the vintage advice print from Mercantile because I just covered my new ironing top on my new cutting table with it. Oh, I love that vintage device. I actually, I have some of it here. I snagged some of it. I don't know where it is. It's here somewhere. But vintage advice, oh my gosh, it's one of my faves. Oh look, and I can even get it pretty close up so that you guys can, that's, that's pretty good. You guys can see pretty good. Or at least on my screen, I can. I don't know. Can you see that pretty good? So Lori just covered her new ironing top on her new cutting table with it. I love it. This is fabulous. I think that this would be super cute 
on a chair. So I'm thinking about this chair in here is really low for me. I always feel like I'm teeny tiny. And anybody who meets me in person, you say, you're taller than I thought. Because <laughs> I think I'm squatted down so much behind here. Um, and so I have this chair that was, it was my grandma's. I call it her telephone chair. She lived in a farmhouse. And this chair, as, as soon as you walked into the farmhouse, there was a hallway you could go down to the left, which would take you to the um, a bathroom, like a washroom for all of the people who were coming in from working out on the farm. Before they came through the doorway into the kitchen, they would go down the hallway to the left to wash up before they came in for lunch or dinner or whatever. And so as soon as you walked through the door to go into the kitchen, right there was the telephone. Again, handy. So if somebody got a phone call who was out working, they could come and not have to come through the house to get to the phone. So right there by the phone, she had a spot for her telephone chair and she would sit there on the chair to talk on the phone because of course we didn't have cordless back then. And so I have this telephone chair. It, it like, I just really wanted to have it. They, people were going to throw it away. And I was like, I want to have that. I remember her sitting on that chair and she had a little notepad next to the telephone with her, her pencil. And she'd sit there and she'd be able to write notes on the counter if she needed to. And so that's out in our garage and the fabric on it is horrible. And this is what I'm thinking of trying to cover it in. Because I think this is so cute, this vintage advice. So long, very detailed story, short. This, I think, would look fabulous on the chair as well. So ironing board cover, fabulous idea. I need to make one of those for myself. See, na, 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 na. Growing up, I had a telephone chair too. You did? So I'm not crazy. I don't know if it's really called that, but that's what I always called it because that's what it was used for. Um, let me pick just a few quilt seat patterns. I want to make a runner, says Elaine. I will have them available separately in the shop for just the pattern if you just want to purchase the pattern itself. Um, Lori says, I'm also making a project bag or two out of it and it's decorated weight. So it will work so nice. Yes, it is. What is going on? It is decorator, that home deck weight. It's fabulous. If you guys haven't gotten that yardage, you just need to have some in your life. Hello, Nancy. Love the telephone chair. We had one and so did both my grandmas. Okay, it must have been a thing at that time. Maybe especially in, in a farmhouse. I don't know, because the phone was right by the door. I don't know. But I have fond memories of my grandma sitting in her telephone chair. And I would love to co cover it in that vintage advice fabric. Because you guys, it's fabulous. So fabulous that I'm going to show it to you again. Guys, look at all the fabulous little sayings that are on here. Life is a matter of living it. To have a friend, you must be one. You grow old too soon and smart too late. Oh, that's so true. Great oaks from little acorns grow. Haste makes waste. A stitch in time saves nine. A penny saved is a penny earned. Look at all of those. Let your smile be your umbrella. To a friend's house, the way is never long. I love it. I love, love, love it. Okay, so that's mercantile. Autumn is coming next month already, you guys. It's coming next month. Everybody's grandma had a telephone chair. I love that. I thought it was, you like, you know, I don't know. I thought it was unique. Gossip benches. Wow. If So if somebody was sitting at that, you knew they were there for that? Is that how that worked? Somebody's sitting on the gossip bench. I'm going to go talk to them. Um, <clears throat> next up. We did this last time. Donna Marie, Donna Marie. Payment for all my pre-order issues this week. You have patience. It's no problem. We are here to help, my friend. Thank you so much. That's very kind of you. But we're happy to help. We're happy to do it. Happy to keep all of your um, goodies straight. Okay, Chunky Thread. And this is coming also in April. Remember in April, we are kicking off we, by we, I mean Lori. Lori's kicking off the granny circle. 
the granny circle along. So let's remember that <clears throat> this home deck wide back. When is this stuff coming? So we have a lot of the home deck fabrics that are coming that are crochet themed. Okay, we have the granny circles up there, the yarn, the pretty plaid, and then down here, the granny squares. Remember, there is a new crochet bag panel that you can reserve right now in the shop. It's gonna, oh, it's gonna, oh, it's gonna look like that with that for the smaller one. Super cute. And Granny Circle Along is starting April 8th. April 8th. Oh my gosh, that's like not far away. That's not next week. It's the week after. Granny Circles, here we come. Squirkles, if you all remember. Oh my gosh. It's the heaviest home deck, but it's still 100% cotton. Yes. Um, Angela, I received my retreat t-shirt. Yay. Do you like it? It's super cute. And then we have a few new notions. We have some new stitchy readers coming that have a vintage, a new shape, vintage style, and then a new magnetic pen holder, which I love. Some new charms are coming. Some new cross stitch needles, which I'm super excited to try. I can't wait to get those. And then we will enjoy the crochet along with Lori starting April 8th. And then don't forget that in July, we're going to be using this chunky thread to make some fabulous punch needle um, designs. The punch needle kits are available in the shop right now for reservation. I've also had questions from people if the patterns will be available separately. And yes, they will. We will have them available separately for you so that those of you who are part of the yarn league and you might not need a kit, then you have, you can just get the pattern. And uh, for those of you who want a full kit, we'll have that available too. And there are going to be some new tags coming in April and in July, we'll have those mounting boards for the punch needle. Okay. So April and July for crochet long and punch needle. And then also in July, hometown holiday. So two uh, holiday collections from Lori, back to back, one in April for autumn and one in July for hometown holiday. Only the second Christmassy holiday themed collection from Lori. So it's pretty exciting. Fabulous wide backs. I'm loving this. Um, chapel print as well but here are all the wide backs down here here are all the backgrounds up here this snowball print is fabulous this again will be in the home deck weight fabric and then we get into the quilt kits we have trimming the tree we have the christmas candy runner both of those are boxed kits we have the let's make a snowman which is so cute this one starts in august with some so simple shapes. And then we have the quilted snowman. So all of these, as you know, I don't wanna repeat it a million times, but um, Happy Little Stitch Shop has all of these things available for you to reserve. This one is the hometown sampler quilt, Christmas pie, hometown stars, paper tree quilts, or paper tree, yeah, quilts. And that is Hometown Holiday. And there's a quilt seed with this one as well, but I seem to have misplaced my paper. But it's the stockings, the big stockings, so those will be super fun. Okay, so Mercantile now. Autumn is coming next month. Also next month we're starting the, the crochet along with Lori. Then in July it'll be Punch Needle and Hometown Holiday. And that brings us up to the newest collection, the newest release from Lori, which is <gasps> Prairie Home. Prairie Home. And this one is coming in <clears throat> October, November, November. 
November. Look how awesome it is. So this collection that Lori is releasing, the bundles and, and the reprint of Prim, which we'll get into, is centered around her Prairie Home quilt book, which is releasing in November. So uh, right now we have the Prairie Home quilt book online so you can reserve your copy. So as soon as it arrives in November, we can get it out the door to you. Um, and then along with that quilt book, there are going to be some quilt kits that we are offering as well. So the first one is this one that you see on the front color cover, which is called the Prairie Home Quilt Kit. It is in the shop right now for reservation. It's fabulous. With the log cabin on the top and the trees and the log cabin blocks on the bottom. It's fabulous. So let's go through this storyboard. Here's the book that I was talking to you about right here. Coming in November, Prairie Home. So there are over 30 projects in this book for you to enjoy. And here is a smattering of all of the projects. This is what I was going to have to be able to put on screen for you guys to be able to see. But instead, we'll enjoy it this way. <clears throat> so let's look at some of these. This Home Sweet Home one is one of my favorites. I don't have the names for everything but you can take a peek and see just a sampling of what kind of projects you are gonna get in the Prairie Home book from Lori. So look at all of those cute quilts. I'm gonna let you take that in for a second and then I'm gonna flip it because there's a bunch more on the other side. So take all of these in Decide which ones you're for sure going to make. Please say the tulips will be kitted up. I am, would love to do that. Okay, so I'll tell you what I have kitted up so far. <clears throat> what I got fabric requirements on. That tulip one was one of the ones that I wanted to kit up, but I don't have fabric requirements for it yet. Um... So I would love to get up that tulip one and uh, I'll see. I'll see. I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't know. For sure. After the book comes out, pff, easy peasy. I'll get it up then because then I'll have all the requirements that I need. But uh, I don't know if I can do it ahead of time. I know. Look at this red one right here. Oh, I'm so backwards. But look at that. It's beautiful. I know, and the stockings too, I think they're great. Okay, so I'm gonna flip it. Work turns into play. It's so, so many fun projects. So many to do, so little time. And yes, if we need to wait for the book, I have plenty of other projects to work on. Okay, good. Because I love that tulip one. I would, I would love to make it myself. Um, but I would for sure would love to kit it for other people who love the tulips like I do. I would love to kit this one. So Home Sweet Home. That's one of my faves. I love a lot of these. Like I, I love the red one. I love this one just because it's so colorful. But I love this one with the red border too. I love the stockings. Those are super cute. And then... <laughs> Let me flip it for you. Here are some more. I love the prairie bonnets. Here's the tulip one. That, is this, this is the one you're talking about, right, Betsy? This tulip one right here. This is the tulip one I was talking about. The trees are gorgeous. I love the red one. Oh my gosh, that middle far left stars. The red and green one, Sam. Great book as always. The jars. I know. Look at the jars. And the butterflies are gorgeous. And the the baskets. What is going on? I'm so crooked. The baskets are gorgeous too. And, and the prairie bonnets. I love the prairie bonnets. And the wagons. And that blue one. I mean, I'm kind of a sucker for denim. And I'm a sucker for leaves. Ugh. There's so many. And the tulips. Jars, Sandy loves them. The stockings are my absolute fave. The stockings, these, the stockings. Oh, this one. 
Sam, is this is this the one you were talking about with the stars? You're a quilter. We're, okay. Great. As always, love the charge stockings. Right or, sorry, let me just try that again. Lori says, when you are a quilter, work turns into play. Yeah, it's not a bad type of work. It's the type of work you look forward to going to. Home Sweet Home in the Red is my faves. The jars are fab. Sorry, on the last page. What is the red one? I don't know the name of it. Oh, maybe I can tell you. On my other computer that I had ready to be able to share pictures with you. Let me, I'm going to pull it closer so I can see. Does it tell me? Oh, they're so small. I can't see them. Mama's Red Quilt? I think it's called Mama's Red Quilt. I think I answered your question. I'm a little surprised that I that uh, I could answer it. So yay, Mama's Red Quilt. I know, <laughs> I don't know, Marie. I don't think there's one that I don't like. Yes, I think that's my problem, is that I want to make all of them. It's so true. The red long johns. I know, aren't they cute? The butterflies are so colorful too. Love the sunflower wall hanging. Yes, me too. Hard to decide. <laughs> Seeing more. I'm geeking out over your yay. That's why you're here to geek out with us. I like the tree quilt and home sweet home. That cabin quilt wagons bonnet sings. Yes. I love it too. And it's not even family history for me, but I still love it. And you can take a long vacation after this. What is the size of home sweet home? Oh, I don't, I don't have the answer to that one. I wish I did, but I don't. Is that schoolhouse red? <laughs> no, Laura, you can't retire. No, no, no. Cabin quilt, can't wait to purchase it. We're not available for retire. Sunflower is a table topper and goes perfectly on square, round, or rectangular tables. Oh, so this one right here, table topper, cute. Love the green one. Oh, yes, this one. The navy one on the bottom row. I know, me too. This one. Me too, Nancy. Cute. Love the bonnets. Me too. I love the bonnets. I love that they're all different colors. Okay. So those are a bunch of the quilts that are in the book. <clears throat> um, what I'm going to tell you now, before I go on to some of the fabric, is I'm going to tell you the kits that are out in the shop right now for reservation. So this one is called the Prairie Home Quilt Kit, and it's in the shop for reservation right now. I sent an, a newsletter today with links to all the stuff that is in the shop for, for reservation. So this is one of them. Prairie Home. Also, Prairie Baskets. Oh, I should tell you. Prairie Home finishes at 80 and a half by 90 and a half. For those of you who want to know. This one behind me, Hope, this is from Hometown. This is the Hometown Welcome box quilt kit. They have those in the shop too. Isn't it beautiful? I think it's fabulous. Hometown, this is one of my favorite quilts. Um, so this one, Prairie Home finishes at 80 and a half by 90 and a half. Reservations in the shop right now. Here we have Prairie Baskets. This one finishes at 76 and a half by 96 and a half. And that one's in the shop for reservation as well. Here we have Prairie Butterflies. This one finishes at 73 and a half by 88 and a half. That one's in the shop for reservation as well. And down here we have Prairie Pastures Runner. This one finishes at 28 and a half by 76 and a half. And this one is in the shop for reservation too. So we have four kits in the shop right now for reservation for you. 
I would love to add more. And then in addition to that, we have bundles available for you. Um, you're welcome, Hope. You're the most prolific designer, quilter, crosser, crocheter, now punch needler I have ever seen. What is this collection expect? When is this collection expected to be released? Uh, November. So, okay. This is why I'm confused. So the book is due to be released in November. So all of those quilt kits will be released in November because you'll have the book then to be able to make them with. But the fabrics that are coming are being released in October, which will be perfect because then us quilt shops can get the fabrics and we can get cutting on all of your kits and then the book will, will arrive in November. <clears throat> so I hope that helps. So Lori used um, a bunch of different fabrics to make these quilts. And so they, Lori has put together with Riley Blake Designs two limited, limited edition B bundles. The first one is a B bundle colors limited edition and includes all of these, um, prints that you see right here. Plus there's more on the other side. So I'll flip it. There are 42 different prints in the B bundle colors limited edition. Yes. We're here to listen. So Lori says, can I explain a few things about fabric used in the book? It may take a few comments in a row. I will wait. I will wait and I will just read what you're saying. Get too next year. Way too many quilts to make, Pam. Let's see. Is there a rolly jelly roll option of the new B bundle colors? Yes. It comes in rolly polies, five inch stackers, 10 inch stackers, and the fat quarter bundle. Yep. I'm going through and I'm rereading all of the other stuff. And while I'm sit sitting here, I'll show you the other side. Here are the other colors that are included in the B Bundle Colors Limited Edition. So let's see if I can show them kind of side by side. So 42 different SKUs. Okay, I'll see what Lori says. Number one, I primarily use three of my collections to make all of the projects in the book. I have so many projects in there, and so I treated all three like one huge collection. So it's like a huge prairie home collection. Gorgeous fabrics. Yes, Sandy, I agree. Oh, it's going to be such a fabulous like mashup of her collections in these bundles, you know? I think Riley Blake needs more Lori Holt basics every collection this year. I would buy over and over again. The three collections that Lori used in the book, the three main collections she used are Prairie, Calico, and Prim. Prairie, Calico, and Prim. Yep, yep, yep. I see it. Yes, Stacy, you can. Yep. The limited edition uh, B bundle colors comes in roly polies, five inch stackers, 10 inch stackers, and fat quarter bundles. So right now, the fat quarter bundle is available for reservation in the shop. And so is the half yard bundle for the limited edition B bundle colors. Lori says Prairie and Calico are still current collections available, but Prim is not. So it will be reprinted. Yes. Susan, you are in luck. Susan says those are my, are three of my very favorite collections. I'm excited for Prim to come back to you. We have a, a bunch of yardage of prim left. Some SKUs are sold out, but we do have some prim left in the shop. So I'm excited for it to come back so that we can 
restock. Lori said, I also use bee plaids and bee ginghams, which are always available. Those are basics. So the three main collections. So you're going to see those mashed up in this limited edition bee bundle, which I think is so awesome that there was this kind of mashup between collections and, and the book that's being released. Because then for those of you who like to replicate what Lori's doing, you now have the capability to do that with the re-release of the of Prim and then um, Lori curating these bundles for us to be able to use for making these quilts in the book. I think it's fabulous. I think it's wonderful. Love those collections. Yes. So the B bundle limited edition colors, we have the fat quarter bundle and the half yard bundle for reservation in the shop. And then I need a second jelly roll rug in the B bundle. Yes. Oh, that's a good idea. How many pieces in the bundle? 42. 42. So if you reserve the fat quarter bundle, you'll get 42 fat quarters. If you reserve the half yard bundle, you'll get 42 half yards. The little summary up here says the B bundle limited edition colors is a selection of fabrics curated by Lori Holt from her past collections, Prim, Prairie, and Calico. This beautiful bundle contains 42 different prints in a range of colors and scale and no print is duplicated. The fat quarter bundle was used to create the beautiful cover quilt on the Prairie Home book. And this bundle is only available for a limited time. So make sure to order yours today. Lori says, Riley Blake Designs asked me to curate a limited edition bundle using those three collections together for a fun sampling of some of the fabrics used in the book. You know, style and theme, if you will. Yes. Debbie says, oh, good. I don't have prim. I came a bit late to the Lori Holt party. That being said, I now have more Lori Holt fabric than any other designer. My old time favorite. Oh, Jenny Buyer. Are the B background bundle prints on a cloud background? So it's just going to turn the page and do that. Then another limited edition we have are um, backgrounds, limited edition. So B bundle backgrounds, limited edition. So Lori also says, I chose 42 prints for the pre-cut bundles. And like Angela just said, no print is repeated. So isn't that kind of cool? You're not going to get the same print in any of the colors. So you know how when a collection is released, you might have stripes and you might have three different colorways of that stripe. Well, in these bundles, you're, you're not going to see a print repeated throughout all of the 42. So you're getting 42 different prints in 42 different colors. I mean, the colors might be similar you know like you might have three purples oh i guess you do have three plums so no, you know what i mean 42 different prints hello david <laughs> thanks for watching are the backgrounds coming separately in a bundle by themselves yes so there's a b bundle backgrounds limited edition and this is in its own separate bundle and these are all, Lori, if I'm not mistaken, um, uh, these are all on cloud from the looks of it. So this one says the B Bundle Limited Edition Backgrounds is a selection of fabrics curated by Lori Holt from some of her past collections. This beautiful bundle contains 42 different background prints in a range of colors and scale to work with any of your quilt making. This bundle is only available for a limited time. Lori says in the backgrounds bundle, some prints are repeated, but of course in different colors. It's a fabulous 42 piece background bundle and a huge variety. If I do say so myself, yes, I can see so many different collections captured in this one bundle. I mean, you've got flea market, you've got cookbook, you've got stitch. Oh, you got farmer's almanac. You've got Prairie, you've got Calico. I mean, I see a bunch. You've got Happy, Vintage Happy, and 
housewife. And then over here, there's a bunch more. So again, 42. Um, Lori says all the backgrounds are on a cloud ground. Yes. Okay. So there you go. That answers your question. All of them are on cloud. And again, the background bundle is available in a fat quarter, but it's also available in 10 inch stackers, five inch stackers and a roly poly. For those of you who are curious about what pre-cuts they're offered in. And the background bundle is available in a fat quarter for reservation. So fat quarter bundle for reservation in the shop and a half yard bundle for reservation in the shop. So let me see if I can show you. Those are all of the backgrounds in the background bundle. Angela, are the bundles listed under coming soon? Yes, they are. If you search for limited edition, Susan, that that might be your key phrase to having them pop up. But yes, they, they will be under coming soon. And if you want to just get right to it and just search for limited edition and it should come up for you. One of my favorites is her little stars. Oh, yes. Those are one of the farmhouse star from B plaids. It's one of my favorite backgrounds too. Is that the one you're talking about? It's one of my favorites. Um, yes. What a big bang for your buck. Yes. To get a good scrappy, scrappy stash. So Lori says, yes, you are right. Angela, I took the opportunity to combine backgrounds from a lot of my collections together in one bottle. It's, it's so good for both the colors and the backgrounds, because you guys, like you're getting fabulous backgrounds in here from such a variety of collections, such a variety. Even that, that is um, Calico Prairie Basics. Oh, that's from your Hush collection. She's even snuck some hush backgrounds in here. Well, Farmer's Almanac, of course, but this one is from like the upcoming hush collection. Did you sneak a hush four print in here, Lori? I feel like maybe you did. Ooh, that's one of my favorites, that denim prairie one. And I love these little chicken feet. That's one of my favorites too. And the clover. I feel like you can't go wrong with clover. I love those clover prints. Okay, so we've all agreed that both of these bundles are fabulous and going to need to be in your sewing room for sure. Angie, thank you. Thank you so, so much. It's very nice of you. Um, I do too. The chicken tracks is from Farm Girl Vintage. Yes. And the um, laundry one is from Vintage Housewife, I think. I love it. Farmer's Almanac might be my all-time fave. Again, it would, I should put that on that phone chair. That reminds me of my grandma because she always, she had a Farmer's Almanac. Every year she would get like a Farmer's Almanac calendar. Um, just made Easter napkins out of the yellow star background. Oh! Thank you. Thank you, Angie. Let's go, Lori. Are you having fun with all of these incredible releases? I know. So then, as Lori said, Prem is being reprinted because, as she said, it was one of the three collections that she used for a lot of the projects in her book. And so they are reprinting it. So again, this one is coming in October. Here is the fabulous Prim collection. And... Pre-cuts will be available for this one too. So out there along with the other bundles, I have a fat quarter bundle available for reservation if you want a prim fat quarter bundle and a half yard bundle for prim as well. Lori says, yes, I'm having so much fun with all of them. It's a super fun year for me. I didn't learn about Lori until cookbook was already in the shops. I'm so excited to get to use some of the previous fabric lines. Yay! So much fun. So Prim is also coming with these fabulous new bundles in October. And then there are some other goodies too. 
It doesn't just stop there. Jill says, I won a second place ribbon in the county fair last summer with a quilt using prim. Oh, you did. I think the happy colors were the star of the show. Aw, I love that. I love it. Okay. <clears throat> These are all wide backs, you guys. Lori is releasing one, two, three, four, eight, eight new wide backs. Okay, so up here we have um, B plaids, I believe, hugs in lettuce. So that's going to be a new wide back. B plaids, uh, zinnias in marigold. Granny chic handkerchiefs in multi. This is going to be a wide back now, you guys. That's one of my favorite prints from Granny chic. And farmer's almanac in raindrop. This is one of my faves and in one of my favorite colors. I'm so excited about it. Farmer's Almanac. Then that very prairie print from Prairie, going to be a wide back. This one, another one of my favorites from Granny Chic um, in coral now. The Granny Chic vintage embroidery print is going to be a wide back in coral. And then we have the Prim Churn Dash. I remember when this came in, you could not keep that cheater print on the shelf. I swear, people kept buying it like crazy. Um, and now it's going to be a wide back. And then over here, we have the Prim Ticking in like a patchwork setup in wide back. So eight new wide backs coming for you. I know, Stacy. Are you as excited about that as I am? Am I the only one excited about Farmer's Almanac? I mean, I'm excited about all of them, but I'm really excited about that one. <sighs> Lori, I wanted you to have plenty of wide backs for the back of your quilts from the book. Yes, because there are so many that we want to make. Like, um, Betsy, what would you put on the back of your tulip quilt? I would probably do the Farmer's Almanac. The tulips remind me of my grandma as well. She always had tulips planted in her flower bed. I'm going, oh, oh, did you answer that before I even asked it? Were we thinking the same thing? So you're talking about this one for the for the tulips quilt. That one would be fabulous too. Reversible quilts, I know. I'd love to see all of your Cheetah Princess white backs one by one. They are making their way to us. Yay. I made the prairie wagons, handkerchiefs, and prim churn dash all on a large scale than the original one. Oh, yes. So it's a little bit larger. Can't read all of the things because it blocks it. Emoji. Larger scale than the other, than the original one on 44. Ooh, so it's a little bit larger. So many awesome. They're about twice as large, large, actually. I feel like you made autumn just for me. Your work is amazing and brings me so much joy thinking about the projects and so many options. Okay, so eight new fabulous wide backs. But it doesn't stop there. Do you think that she's done? She's not. There's also going to be a new zippy bag. Zippy bag panel. Zippy bag three. And... Sally Quilt, Angela, ever think of carrying coordinating salts? Yes. Especially if somebody asks me to. Yes. I certainly can. Using those wide backs, like getting two quilts in one. Sure is. A strawberry bag! And the little sunbonnet Sue bag. And that Dahlia bag. Butterflies. So cute. So yes, there is a Zippy Bags 3 panel. This is the panel, shows you up here. You get four larger bags and four smaller bags out of it. So eight bags total. Here are three of the bags down here that you can see. Oh, the teapot, that's a smaller one. Oh, the dogs is a smaller one too. This is a larger one. Oh, I love this one too. What is that? I love that. It's like a little four leaf clover. I love it. So Zippy Bag 3 is in the shop for reservation right now. 
Um, oh, those big panels are fabulous. I see the Scotty dog. Yes, you sure do. Lori says it's hard to see what the ticking wide bet looks like, but I can't wait for it. I wish if I had my computer working correctly. I was going to show if you go, if you go to the product description in at, in the shop at happy little for that uh, prim ticking wide bag, you'll see uh, a larger, uh, the, the repeat You'll be able to see the repeat so you can see the whole thing and give you a better idea. Patricia says, oh, great. I'm ready for a new panel for zippy bags. Love the strawberry bags, says Sharon. I need another zippy bag panel or two. Love those bags. So much to do. Lori says it consists, consists of, of a bunch of ticking in several different colors and patchwork style. Each square is about 11 inches. 11 inches. Yeah, that's bigger than I would have thought from the picture. Um, but yes, it's exactly what, what Lori's saying. And you can see it when you go to the product description, you should be able to see, but it's 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 a patchwork vibe to it. And all of the ticking stripes are different colors. So it's multi, it's very cool. Are the zippers the same ones for the prior bags? Yes. So we still have happy zippers and happy zippers too, both of which are in the shop right now. So these are both, both of these zipper packages are available right now and in the shop. Those large squares will look great on the other side of your coat, making it reversible and also could be cut into 10 inch stacker squares. I love it. I love it. And you know, I mean, that ticking would look great on the back of anything, but in particular, it would look good on the back of like a, um, more masculine quilt, maybe. Which is one reason that I am doing the new size trimmer ruler. Yes, the 10 inch trimmer ruler. Better order extra ticking, Angela. I will, I will, I will have it. And then we get some new notions too. So there are gonna be some limited edition uh, tape measures coming out, limited edition design boards coming out. 14 inch. This, I know some of you are super excited about. This is, let me show you. I have it right here. I don't have that one, but I have the size here. It's dirty. But this is the size for this cutting mat right here. So you guys have been seeing me use this for Mercantile Mondays, I think primarily. And um, I've had so many questions. Where is that cutting mat? I would like that size cutting mat. And it, this one in this color is not available anymore. But I found out shortly after you guys started asking me those questions that this one was coming. So it's going to be here in October. So it'll be this size, five by eight, in the Alpine and the schoolhouse color. So this is out there uh, for notify me. You can click notify me if you're interested in that. Then there's a new uh, clipboard coming. Does that look familiar for all of you? Um, 2024 Stitch and Sew binder calendar people. I love it. I love the current clipboard. I use it often actually. And then here are the new two new trimmit rulers, 10 inch size and an 11 inch size. I kind of want to use it for covered buttons. Ooh, that's a great idea. Wide backs, a great way to buy one's favorite fabrics. Lori says the older color combat was sold out. Yes, this was sold out. I tried to go get it, but it was gone. But new colors, which I'm pretty excited about the red and the alpine. So I will be getting the red and the alpine. Are you recoloring the bee's knee stands? Ooh, inquiring minds. This is this came up. When did this come up? That question came up last week or the week before. I can't remember. Don't forget, we also have the World of Lori Folk coming. And punch needle. Okay. 
So remember, all of these cute quilt kits are in the shop for reservation. Prairie Home, Prairie Baskets, Prairie Butterflies, Prairie Pastures, Runner. So all of those are out there to be reserved. And then including the limited edition bundles in colors and in backgrounds. in both that quarter size and half yard size. So those are out there for reservation. And then prim as well, that quarter and half yard. And then the zippy bag two, zippy bag three, and notions. And the book, the Prairie Home book, that's out there for reservation too. Does anybody have any questions? Oh, Lori says, when the yellow bee's knees stand sells out, she'll, she's going to do a new color. Did I miss if there are new washies coming? So there's washies coming with hometown holiday and autumn. I believe there's washi tape coming with both of those, but let me double check. I don't think I have the notions in here because I think this storyboard was too jam-packed for all the notions. And Autumn... Autumn has washi tape for sure. And I know that Hometown Holiday does too. So yes, there will be washi tape coming. Or I love if you could come out with 120... Take measure my legs. You get this factor. Denim bees knees stand. Oh, that would be my favorite. Um, new washing autumn and in the crochet. Yes. Oh yeah. That's right. I forgot about the crochet one. But yep, crochet, autumn, and here it is. It's super cute. There's the crochet ones with the yarn and the granny squares and the granny squircles. And then in autumn, I don't think I showed you. There's the autumn up there at the top. And then hometown holiday, I think too, but I don't have that. Isn't the washi tape and the crochet one super cute? And the washi labels in Hometown Holiday. That sewing machine quilt in the... Yes. Yes, I sure can. Let me show this washi tape again quick. Oh, good. I need a new stand. My niece stole my yellow one. She also stole my 18-inch. <laughs> no, no. Yes, the red pin holder. I know I'm excited about that. I'm excited about the red. And then um, the sewing, yes. The sewing kit. This is a quilt that will be in the World of Lori Holt, Volume 2. We have this quilt kitted up in the shop for reservation. It's called So Happy. So in Lori Holt, World of Lori Holt, Volume 2, that's where this pattern will be. So, and it, it's exclusively in the world of, of Lori Holt volume two. Exclusive, so happy quilt pattern. Isn't it cute? It finishes at 58 by 58. Oh good, I need, um, isn't it cute? The kit's in the shop right now for reservation. Do you know the dimensions for So Happy? Yep, 58 by 58. This one will be coming soon as well. I know, aren't the stars cute? All of, all of the quilt stars down there. This is a mixture. So the, this is a... Okay. 
a lot of B dots in here. Maybe mostly B dots. I guess I need to buy a lighter ticket tomorrow. <laughs> Lori says, if you want a different color of sand currently, just get the yellow and spray paint it with chalk spray paint. I spray paint lots of things to change the color. That's a good idea. Who did I just see spray painted something the other day and it looked great? Oh, a frame for cross stitch finishing. Be basics. Oh, be basics. So a a bunch of B basics are in here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Isn't it pretty? I love that yellow iron. Someone just won a huge lottery that would just about cover <laughs> my Lori Old wish list. World of Lori Holt. When will it be out? It's coming out in May. Available in May. May, May, May. B dots is B basics. Yeah. So it'll include like B dots, B plaids, B gigams, B basics, B like all of them. B cross stitch maybe. So, so cute. Look at all the colors. I should be sharing it with you instead of drooling over it myself. Do you guys have any other questions about anything that's coming for Lori Holt? Any questions about Prairie Home? Now it's a great chance to, time to ask it. Because um, maybe, just maybe, we might, might know somebody who might know the answer. I don't know. Love the beautiful bright colors of the B Basics. Me too. Me too. So happy. <laughs> so happy. Quite literally. 58 by 58. You can ask me a question because I'm here. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us, Lori. I know you're super, super busy. So I know that this was no small, small feat for you. What crochet projects are coming? Well, Granny Circles, for sure. Oh, my gosh. Is anybody else super excited to make those Granny Circles? You know that at retreat, we're going to be making Granny Circles. Betsy. Betsy, our, our, our crochet leader. Um, But, yeah, the Granny Circle along. April 8th. I'm very excited for Granny Circles too. Can I show that? Do you guys know? I assume that you guys know what we're talking about when we're talking about Granny Circles, but let me show this. Because look, look. Just look at these granny circles. Look at how fabulous that is. And look at this little stuff that she's got going on right here. How cute is that? Like, I want to make a bunch of these as little trivets. That is what I want. It's really hard to find trivets these days. Like, I have a hard time finding trivets for our table. So when we have supper and we put hot stuff out, I want to have trivets and I have like a whole drawer of trivets. A lot of them my kids made as like our projects when they were in school, but they have broken, you know, they break and all of that. But these, how cute would these be as little trivets? Okay. Sorry. I'm on a trivet tangent. Will the new Christmas collection blend with your previous Christmas collection? Lori says, I'm glad to be here with all of you, and I'm very flattered and humbled that you want to chat about my upcoming things. Of course we do. Stacy, are you going to release both Scarecrow Cross Stitch and maybe the Snow White one too? Always excited to make anything, Lori Holt. Sharon, I think 1.5. 
is the lowest. Will of Lori Holt, will it include the pattern? So the pattern will be available in the World of Lori Holt book. So the kit won't come with the pattern because some people are likely already maybe going to get the book separately. So we just made it separate. Late to the party again. What did I miss? Lori would love some Peace Patrick farmhouse style placements. Oh, cute. I need a Lori Holt intervention. <laughs> I want one of everything. Yes, and yes on the snowman and scarecrow cross stitch. I believe the scarecrow is available now, if not very soon. For sharing your talents with us. Appreciate you so much. Those cross stitches are super cute. And Stacy, I'll be darned if I haven't gotten a reservation out there yet for that. What's my problem? Thank you, Lori. I'm glad you're here to talk about new things because when I turn to my husband to talk about them, he rolls his eyes. <laughs> that said, he watches all your videos with me. I love it. I love Lori Holt as a catalog and the free pattern is within it. Yes. It's very much like the world of Lori Holt one. For hosting tonight, you made my night. <laughs> I'm so glad that it ended up working out. I was seriously having a teeny tiny panic attack a panic attacklet, if you will. I was like, what is wrong? Why is this happening right now of all times? Oh, I was freaking out. Have you got the world of Lord Holt one? Yeah. Um, I do have it on reorder. It's back, it's back stocked right now, back ordered right now, but I, I am getting it. Jojo. I thought you meant like here right now. I was like, yeah, it's right. It's right back there. It's on my stand, my aqua stand right back there. Um, but I am getting it back in stock. It's out of stock right now because it's on back order, but it's on order. So as soon as Riley Blake gets it, they'll ship it to me and then I'll have it. Items within the fabrics, first class two, quality all the way, all the colors of the prints, and limited edition bundle, new or the original colors. Love all the things. I believe that they are all original colors. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. Lori can answer that to be sure, but I believe all the prints in the limited edition color bundle are all original colors. Thank you, Lori, for all the cute things. I love the world of Lori Holt 1 and can't wait for volume 2. Awesome. Lori, when is the second catalog coming out? It's coming out in May, Martha. Hi, Carly Ellie. Love it all. Here's a special request. Please reprint the original. <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. That's been a hot topic for about a few years now. Thanks, ladies, for a show. Great. All the fabrics and limited are exactly the original. It's just a new curation of, bun of them bundled together. That goes for the colors and the backgrounds, yes. Okay, you guys. That's all I have for you. Prairie Home. It's going to be so much fun to work on this this fall. To make these. And you know that I'm going to be kidding up other quilts in that book. Because the tulips for sure. That home sweet home, I would love to. Um, so many of these. I plan to to kit up for you guys. So I hope, here they all are, so many of these. We will be kitting up and we will be working through this fall and into the winter. So please um, take some time to go reserve all of your Lori Holt goodies uh, at Happy Little Stitch Shop. And thank you, Lori, for sharing tonight. And thank you, Angela, for enabling <laughs> this week. Can't wait for all the things. Thank you, Angela, and Lori, for spending time with us. Turn on the Lori for goodies. Did I miss you talking about the quote you posted on Instagram with the eight inch circles? That is from Mercantile, Kim. That is Penny Candy. Yep. Penny candy from Mercantile. So that's the box kit from Mercantile and it's in the shop right now. And that was our sample quilt. 
Oh, for the love of Peter, it's like a mask. That was the sample quilt that uh, is almost finished being made. I had to share it because it's too, too cute. Here it is. It's, it's this one, Penny Candy. It's the boxed kit from Mercantile and it finishes at 60 by 60. And the circle template that you need, the circle ruler that you need to make those circles is included in the kit. It's fabulous. It's so pretty. And from, from what our sample maker said, it goes together really nicely, really easy. Thanks for not giving up. I'm giving up. I nearly did give up, Kate. Penny Candy is made like the Mercantile. Yes, it's just like the Mercantile. Same, it, just a little bit, um, just a little bit smaller. It's so pretty. I love it. I cannot wait to get that sample. And you know that as soon as I do, it'll be, it'll be hanging back here. So you'll get to see it, you know, up close, closer and in, in person, kind of. Can't wait to start Penny Candy. No, Free Spirit Penny Candy is out right now as the Mercantile Collection is in a boxed kit. Tell them about the mug, Angela. What mug? The Mercantile mug? Oh. The mug that everybody's requesting for reprint? love to tell them about it. Oh, the reprint one. If you, I think you're talking about the sewing machine one. So I have all of the mugs because you have to collect all the mugs. I have all of them. I'm missing two. I'm missing two mugs. I'm missing prim and I'm missing the, um, the sewing machine one. Otherwise, I have all of them. I have some over there. I have Flea Market. I have Stitch, Mercantile, Hometown, Prairie, Calico, Cookbook. I'm missing Prim and I'm missing the sewing machine. So people have asked. We've been asked a ton of times. Can we have that sewing machine one? And I called Riley Blake and I tried to see if I could get it reprinted and order some for the shop. <laughs> you have to order thousands in order for them to justify doing a reprint. So Lori is saying, if you guys want it reprinted, she, she doesn't control the reprint, but you can call Riley Blake Design customer service and request um, for Riley Blake Designs to reprint that mug. So I would love to have a complete Lori Holt mug collection. So I would really love to have the sewing machine one reprinted and prim. And they're reprinting Prim right now. So I'm thinking that that's connected and it could be justified. So if you're interested in those mugs that aren't available anymore, call Riley Lake Design Customer Service and put in a request for a reprint. That's, that's the way to do it. So Lori says, I'm saying to tell them what I said about requesting it from Riley Lake Design so that they will do it. Yeah. So let's make it happen. Could we try to all have that? Email them, phone call, like call customer service. And if everybody does it, then maybe we'll get those for sure the sewing machine, but I would love Prim as well. So that I can have a complete collection. Email them, bombard them with requests. That would be crazy fun if it works. Do it. Are you guys on board? There are, you know, hundred and some people out here. Email request the sewing machine mug to be redone. And maybe since you're sending the email anyway, just ask for Prim too. People are on board. Do it, do it tonight. Like get on there, just send a quick email and then it's done and you won't forget about it. But that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think it's nine mugs total. We have so if, if you're, we have 
in the shop, just a few of these left. And then I think all the hometown mugs are going are gonna to be gone. We have just a few hometown mugs left. And then we have mercantile. <clears throat> we have a bunch of these left in the shop. But then once they're gone, they're gone. So they don't print a ton of them. They just do a bit. And then once they're done, they're done. So it's like you got to snag them while you can. Um, and it, I'll be darned. I had both the prim and the sewing machine mugs in the shop. Lori said this to me. She said, it. <laughs> in hindsight, she said this to me. You have to take it. Be like You have to grab one for yourself if you want it. But it was at the beginning of when we opened the shop. And I was like, oh, I should really sell it. You know, like I thought they were so cute. I wanted one. I thought, no, I, I need to, you know, build the business, build the business. And so I had them in the shop in my hands and I sold them all. And then I couldn't get them. So we could buy, we could all buy 10 mugs. Yes, I hope they don't. <laughs> I'll buy 10 mugs, then I could get them reprinted. I hope they don't get mad at me. I bet they won't. That would be really hard to do. I'd buy 50 and give to my quilty friends. They actually print thousands of them. They are just a one and done print. Yeah. So they print them and then that's that's it. So snag hometown and mercantile while you can. Um, and then let's ask about the sewing machine one and prim. You're, we're on a mission. You have your homework. Okay. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me tonight. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much to Lori for joining in. I really, really appreciate that. Um, and I will see you guys next week. I've missed you guys this week. I have not been out here with you guys as much because we've been having some, trying to squeeze in some family time. Although I'm shipping this week. So uh, any packages that you get that were shipped this week are from me. I'm shipping again. Sending out lots of love into the world. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Thank you so, so much, Lori. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I hope to catch up with you soon. And everybody else, have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. And a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And happy Easter, everybody. Happy, happy Easter. Thank you all for being here. Thank you so, so much. Lori says, thank you so much, everyone, and Angela. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Sam. Thank you, thank you to all of you. Happy Easter, everybody. Take care, and I will see you next week. Happy stitching. <laughs>